we have about 12 uh, faculty and, and students and support staff uh, with positive tests. Locust Fort Elementary and high school hallways will be empty for the next three days in an effort to control the spread of COVID-19. When you look at the school, the community and everything, we have about uh, 95 students that are either uh, close contacts, something to do with the school or their family, and they're having to stay home. Blunt County School Superintendent Rodney Green says it's not just about cases contracted at school. And a lot of people think when a school is closed that it's just the school that's the source of COVID-19, but it's really a, a, a community situation a lot of times because parents at their workplace or, or wherever they go may have been exposed to COVID and then their child is exposed as a close contact. He says during the closure, the school will get a deep cleaning, all the halls and classroom disinfected. Green says the school closure is something they knew would come as they prepared for face-to-face -face learning. I believe that all over the nation and all over our state, you're gonna have temporary closures of schools. It's gonna impact us all year long until a vaccine is, is uh, developed and refined. He says the district has no intention on going virtual permanently and students will return to school next Tuesday. Xavier Harris, WVTM 13.